Welcome, everybody, to another episode of The D Gentleman Show. I'm your host, Brett Ernst, along with my co-host, sportsbook extraordinaire, Jay Rudeboy, NFL legend, Javon Curse, and we got Alex. All right, so let's just get into the picks this week. Um, let's just get right into it, man. I, 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 I don't know what to say. Brett, what I tell you? Colts all day long. I would, look, I, would, I know, I goose egg like the Cowboys did. Um, <laughs> Alex and Jay, you both came in strong, uh, two and one overall. Both your locks came in. Uh, you Thank came you, in I, third. I, 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 you were one, one and two. two. It was one and two. The Saints, though. they won, but they didn't cover. Yeah. And then, uh, and I, then I came in with that goose egg like the Cowboys did. <laughs> oh I, God, I, my lock just crashed and burned. <laughs> I got stung by the cardinal sin. Never lay points on the road. Dang it, Jay. And, and even though I was more of a play against the Panthers, I was laying points on the road. I was, your, I was right there with you on that one, Jay. But your lock came right in. There. Your lock came in. Lock came in, yeah. But still, right, does, didn't, still didn't get to the cashier window with that ticket. No. But, all right, so any, anybody want to boast or make excuses? I just uh, feel, now's your time. I just feel great about the Colts. I mean, that was a undoubtedly W, Brett. This kid is 0-15 for the year. And now, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> now he's talking right? about... Uh, yeah. hey, undoubtedly. Like, like, on? Now you're the extra of on. Come no, on, I, baby. No, I got, no, I... I'm, I'm, I'm on your side. I'm on your side. We're on the same team. Look, same team. They same sauced team. him in Super Bowl V. They sauced him on Sunday. Uh, <laughs> oh, all right. Bowl all right. Five? What, what are you? That's right. Oh, the Colts and Cowboys. 16 yeah, to 13, Colts by the way. That's, that's I just right. pulled that out. Hey, I'm just plugging that It was 16 Rushmore. to 13, and it was they lost by a field goal. Okay? W's a W. They wore leather helmets. Let's, yeah. let's, let's drop it on and get it done for Javon's charity this week. All right, gentlemen? Google does it Come again. On. Yeah. None of our parlays, for those of you who are watching <laughs> yeah. the show for the first time, we do a charity parlay at, at the end of the show, and uh, pretty much people are starving and dying because yeah. we haven't hit anything. I'm still trying to get toys from a toy drive. The kids need bikes. They need, they need toys. They need a lot of stuff, man. And yeah. We're not helping them out. We're not helping them <laughs> I'm helping them out. Right. Just me by myself. <laughs> Yeah, we're not doing well. Um, okay, so, uh, you know, that's it. I, 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 this, I don't, I feel, all right. Big turnaround from 3-0. I, I know, three. I know, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm expecting some ball busting <laughs> yes, here. Nothing's yes. going on. No, well, I just, I, I know it, you bet with your heart just like me. I didn't bet with my heart. A little bit, a little bit. Listen, it, truth be known, I, I said it was a trap game, right? It was off air and nobody heard it. But I did say it. Yeah, that, uh, I had no idea that they were going to win 20 to nothing. I, I had no I idea. Go. I heard you. Did yeah. you hear me? Yeah. You heard yeah. that? And, you know, I mean, just Roll to point out, I did, I did point out that the Patriots was the bait last week. So Yeah, you did. We all took that. Right? Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you, though, I, I did take Cleveland. That, that game came in strong. Uh, Jay's got an interesting fact about Cleveland, actually. Yeah. They, Cleveland uh, uh, can win out. Uh, they, they control their destiny, basically. What do you oh, mean? Whoa. Cleveland uh, so, wins the next two games. They play Ravens in the final season. If if the Steelers if the Steelers lose, so we need to, they need they can control their own say, destiny. There's, there's more going on here. There, there, there's a lot going on, but Cleveland gets into the last week with the chance to win the division. That's their Super Bowl by far. And Pitt's got to go to New Orleans, and then they host Cincy. That's no walk in the park, AFC. North. Oh, they're gonna peel. AFC Cincy. North. Like Anything can happen. All right, we'll, we'll save that for the yeah, playoff segment. Division games. But if that's the case, <coughs> I, I'm going to go Cleveland. I'm winning, <laughs> winning the North. Yeah. Get yeah. Out of here. How awesome it would that be if Cleveland won? It would. Oh, yeah. that, that would be a little Absolutely. detrimental to me because that's a, a north of a quarter of a million dollar loss for the MGM on Cleveland winning the division. Yeah, I, I oh, forget. You, you have, like, real So if real that happens, <laughs> if, if, if that happens. I'm only going to lose 20 bucks. I, I, we will be maneuvering uh, in, 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 on that week uh, 17. You will be able to get a great deal on the Ravens money line at MGM Resorts. Really? Uh, yeah. If, if so you're in, in your first, if, it's in that, yeah. if it's in that position, I'll take that. I'll take it. I'll they take have it. some real Ravens money line on now? sale. Can we put it in now? Then we just bend with the things. Got to happen first. So. <laughs> well, I don't think the rate. Well, we'll get into that at the <laughs> yeah. end with the playoffs and our picks. We'll segue. But yeah. uh, we got a Pete on the street segment. Yeah. Alex, take it away. All right. Vegas is known for its crazy nightclubs, the fifteen thousand dollar pool cabana pool parties. Pete has discovered the most cool and difficult bar to get into. 20 people max. They only let four in at a time. Let's check it out. Tonight, I'm in downtown Fremont at an awesome bar called Commonwealth. Commonwealth is known for its eclectic vibe, amazing music, awesome artwork. But like any good the gentleman, it's all about who you know. Luckily for me, when I came down here to Fremont, 
I texted a friend. Turns out I texted the right person. This looks like a wall. Well, maybe it'll open up. Oh, it did. Hey, hey Pete, you ready for your reservation? Oh, I am ready for my reservation. All this right. looks good. Let's go. So, Anthony, I came in through Commonwealth. Now I'm in the laundry room. Tell me about this place. Well, as far as the laundry room, it's intended to be our little sneakyway, hideaway spot. It's really in tune with the idea of what a speakeasy is. You're not really supposed to be here. The volumes are low, there's no cameras, no nothing going on back here, no dancing, no nightclub stuff. It's a place where you have a chance to sit down and really enjoy a good, solid, classic cocktail. Tell me a little bit about some of the drinks that we can get. I mean, can you show me something? Oh, or? yeah, I can definitely do that. Um, one of the more popular ones that we do have here is something called the Old Poppy. So as far as the Old Poppy, it's got to be an applewood smoked cocktail. It's done in the same vein as an Old Fashioned, so it's a very spirit forward cocktail served a nice little rocks class. Awesome, dude. So dude, can you tell me anything about this room? I mean, I heard that Bugsy Siegel used to be associated down here. Oh, no one's associated with that guy. But the general idea is everybody, like I said, they drop off their wares, one thing that needs to get cleaned or another. Right, right, right. So whether it be clothes or other things that might need to get cleaned. Yeah, a sheet or two. And a she yeah, a sheet or two. Or... Gosh. I feel so cool being in this room. I mean, that's... That's so, I think one of the cool things that you guys have going on in the laundry room is the fact that you really feel special here. I feel like no one knows where I am. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Well, I mean, you do kind of get locked away in here. Again, the idea is there's no cell phones allowed in here. I mean, you're not calling, texting, or you can text, but you cannot call anybody. You're not sitting here trying to take videos of anything. Right, right. Yeah, I saw, I was reading some of the house rules here. You can't take photos. You gotta be patient when the guy's making the drink for you. Uh, there's no standing at the bar. That's why I'm sitting like a gentleman, like a did gentleman. Uh, don't be creepy. That's a great rule. That should be more uh, established in, in every in every business, but it, uh, I like that you guys really make a point that uh, if you came here to hit on strangers, you're at the wrong bar. That's a good, that's a good point. Whoa, now you're smoking stuff, dude. Oh uh, yeah, look at I thought you were joking when you said No, nah, I'm gonna burn smoke. something. It keeps me entertained, I don't know about you. Well, dude, I'll tell you what. There's only one way to get a smoky drink, and that's it. Are you smoking my glass? Yeah. That way I'm gonna be able to have all the esters and so on that kind of sit on the glass, and by the way, it does look nice too. I don't mind it. All right, in. Whoa, that was cool. Well, man, I mean, if it's cool, I mean, I can I can I try it? I would say go get it. Oh, I feel like a real the gentleman. <laughs> this is amazing, dude. This is amazing. Awesome. This is. I mean, granted, I'm getting smoke still in my face from what was just smoked, but I get the smokiness in the glass, the drink itself. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's working on all different levels over here. Yeah, it should have a nice little light dry smoke to it, so even if I move this, it'll still kind of show for you. Right, well. right. I gotta tell you, man, this is a sipping drink, is it not? Yes, there, we're not here to shoot shots back here. I mean, everything back here is intended to be enjoyed over a good a duration more than anything else. Just like the preparation when it comes to it. I didn't pour a Jack and Coke that was like that. It was a little bit more time and effort. Oh, there was a lot more time and effort in this drink. Well, I think the only thing for me to do is to sit back, enjoy this drink, and think about the old times when things were a lot more complex. We're back. First of all, when, what is the old times things were more complex? Does he mean simple? <laughs> By the way, Pete, who's, I have a question for the studio. Uh, who has better hair, Pete or Alex? It's a great uh, question. I like Alex. I like Alex. We yeah. should have a hair off. We'll do this side I think side. Pete's a little more consistent with this style, though. Uh, mine's Jewish yeah. Italian, stays up on its own. His, it doesn't, his is, but that's the guinea gene in you. That so, spot is great. Though. So what you saying, you woke what? up like that. I'm, oh, that I'm place saying is I up. woke yeah. up like that, Jamal. You woke up like that, okay. Um, that place I'm, reminds me of a place in, in, in uh, um, London. They built a bar inside an old vault. Really? Similar to that, which has a really cool vibe as well. Well, this thing right here, I guess you gotta know somebody, because they if you know somebody <laughs> to get in that place, and, and uh, again, it, it only fits 20 at the most at a time, and they let you in four at a time. So they give you this clothespin. I can't show it because it has a phone number on it. So you have to call this number or text this number, and then when they text you back, you can only make a reservation for up to four, and then it lets you know it's called. Uh, you know, if you made it to the to the laundry room. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, but do you have, do you have to supply like any financial information to make sure you're qualified that you can pay for your bill after you're done there? Or? No, oh. Jay. No. You with no. the money. Can you imagine that for dating apps? Look where, look where he is. <laughs> What, this for dating apps? The millennial like an exclusive the millennial, invite only? The millennial except it's not a clothespin. Uh, that's all, right? That's all the kid knows is dating apps. He's going he's gonna, he's gonna to hand out condoms cut, with a text number. Can I live, <laughs> Brett? Can I live? It's all right, well, we got to move on already? Yeah, hot topic. Hot okay, topic. okay, let's get back to sports. This is our hot topic for the week, uh, specifically the BCS. Now, uh, I have a little controversial t- topic, I guess, yeah. um, that I want to get into. Yeah. So after two undefeated seasons and a self-proclaimed 2017 national championship, should the UCF Knights be playing Alabama in the playoff semifinal game to see if they could get win the national championship? I, I, I'm not going to chime in on this yet. I mean, they're playing LSU in the PlayStation Bowl. But do you think <laughs> UCF, two undefeated seasons, by yeah. the way, should be able to play <clears throat> Alabama for the national championship playoffs? What, what, do you, say you? What, what do you have for us, Alex? Javon, look, I think it's incredibly impressive. Yeah. They haven't lost yeah. in two seasons. Yeah. But I got to be honest, this is a larger than just the record. And do they earn, have they earned this? No. They ha- they've yeah. earned it, but they're not going to get it. And it comes down to money. And it comes down to politics. And it comes down, look, ESPN buys the rights. You have Tens of millions of dollars. You got pressure on it's, advertising. It's a yes and no. You're just saying but, yes and but no. It, yeah. It's not even that. No, but it, it's 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 72. Their strength of schedule is 72. Okay. Thank you. I mean, Navy was 66. Their closest team that pushed them was Memphis, who their schedule was like 62. So, I play. If you want to play to be a champ, you can't play chumps. You know, and not, I absolutely. I like your little they're, 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 they're going to be. Know, they're going to be playing. Your LSU. Automatopoeia. They're going to be playing LSU, who had the number three strength of schedule. They went nine and three in a hellacious. But SEC they beat schedule. Auburn last year. Well, barely. They, they did. It doesn't but, matter. But no, it, barely. But barely. barely. But a lot of teams, games. A lot of wins teams a win. But don't you have to put the work in to get there? I mean, if you just said, "Hey, you can you go and play some," they they anybody, play, can, they play who can show they play. play who's on their schedule. Well, get in a different schedule. That's, and, and that's, by the way, that's, 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 that's part schedule. of a bigger okay, problem. Okay, okay, but I old, think they should. I personally think they should have a chance at the national. I mean, my I agree. But, but just, from school, the, just from the body but, of work from the past two years. Yeah. Now, think about this: old school that's, BCS, the way it was, you had to blow people out. They blew mostly everybody out. Right, but if you're well, going to be... Well, I take that back. There's a couple of close ones. Yeah. Like Memphis. 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 Yeah, I mean, yeah. And, I mean, and, but they're I mean, playing without their starting quarterback now. Like, they, they've made some... Even more of a reason. Why would you put a team that is, is, is uh, damaged in there? That, that, that's part of the I mean, game. Listen, hey, that, hey I, that's part of the game. They've had, a, they've had a great season for, for the school that they are. I mean, absolutely outstanding. You, you, well, don't, think, you, don't, think, you don't think they could compete with Alabama? I, I don't think they could compete with Alabama if they had to play the kind of schedule Alabama and those guys play all year. You know what, I should rephrase it. Do you think they could compete with Oklahoma if they were to play each other? If they could. Because let's be honest, Alabama's going to pee on Oklahoma. I, I, no matter I, who Alabama I, plays, it's going to no, be a, a far distance. I would go make, far. make them put some work in to get there. I mean, beating right. Temple and Navy and, and Memphis and, and Liberty and whoever else. I mean, you know, the high school the high school next door to them <laughs> doesn't count. Yes. Listen, Austin P is a great university. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's Javon. Your point. It's 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 well said. They all they did all they could yeah. do. But it's part of a larger issue, which is Correct. NCAA needs an elite eight for a playoff. Minimum, so it eliminates this. I was literally just talking to Pete Rose out there about this. I go, yo, you cannot. By the way, you, snub. you can't just drop Pete Rose's name <laughs> and, it, just, and, just, and then glance over that. I didn't, over there. Yeah. I didn't know that was Pete. I think you right. dropped. I was over there talking to uh, uh, Don <laughs> Mattingly. The point, is, the point is, is he's on my side with an Elite Eight. And quite frankly, that's better for the consumer. It's all right. probably right. more money, Different and topic. it allows the UCF Different team to have a shot. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with Javon on this. Go ahead, you want to say something? Yeah, no, just keep it going. Like, all right. Regardless of, regardless of whatever we say, they're still going to be national champions, even if they're just national champions in Orlando. They're still going to get rings and everything else, so I'm just saying. I, I, think, I think it would make for an interesting bowl game because, <laughs> yeah. every, you know, UCF, again, they proclaimed themselves national championship uh, champions last year. Yeah. They're talking a lot. They're saying they could, they could bring it. Uh, they did against Auburn, right? Uh, uh, let them play. I think more people will tune into that game. I don't know. I so wouldn't it be said that their backup por- quarterback came in to, to win that Memphis game and they still won? That doesn't yeah. happen again. I'm not taking anything away from Memphis. 
It's a good program, but you just don't do that against the Goliaths in college football. What I'm saying yeah. is Alabama's going to blow everybody out. I think it makes it more interesting to have UCF in there. I mean, I, I think they're really going to struggle against LSU. And it's just, I mean, and I think they're going to really struggle because of the quarterback situation. If they had their original yeah, quarterback, yeah. they would be able to put up and, a fight. And, but I right. think LSU, right. athlete for athlete, it's hands down. What, right. John, you want to you want piping in? Yeah, I'm tired of hearing about this. Can we talk about the Pro Bowl, please? <laughs> no, I want, can I just say one thing? Sure, go ahead. Because uh, Alex touched on something, and, and I think we need to talk about it. Okay. Uh, I think there should be an 18 playoff system. Thank you. Right. I think, I, I think yes. it's a bigger picture you know play by the NCAA. Go ahead. Definitely the 18 playoff system. They can definitely make it into that. Think, one. think about how exciting the NFL playoffs are. And when those teams that get in the wild card that catch that heater at the end of the season, you get to see them. The Giants were a 60 when they won the Super Bowl. I, I would That's say, Ohio State this season. I would say, and they're not going to be in the dance. Absolutely. I agree. I would say six teams minimum, eight teams maximum. Um, but then again, now it's a big picture play for the NCAA, who's, by the way, a nonprofit. <laughs> I know, what's that about? Um, but think about it. Now, now these bowl that was games. the NFL, by the way. Uh, well, not anymore. They need to send some they, toys to Javon's foundation. I think, I think, they, foundation. I think I they got called on that. Anyways. Make donations. Okay. I'm saying is that all those bowl games that nobody really is going to watch, if they have playoff implications, right. they'll now watch them. And I think it's a bigger play. I think uh, it allows teams like UCF to put their money where their mouth is. Uh, it'll end a lot of debates, and, uh, and again, man, I just, I just think. Uh, I mean, that's the that's the main well, part. I would like to see. It. I would like to see it like clear up some of these debates because they're I mean, winning. If it go to an eight game playoff situation, they're just going to fall ten. I mean, their strength of schedule is still going to hurt them. Dude, the strength of schedule is only the conference that they're forced into. Because, and, and let's be honest, there's like ten Division One programs that actually make money for the for NCAA. There's, most universities True. take a beating on it. So you're always going to see these teams like Notre Dame. Because even Miami, the Hurricanes, they sometimes get the shaft because they don't travel well. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Um, I, I think that you put the playoffs in there. It adds value to the, to the uh, you know, the, the squeegee bowl or whatever. Whatever, whatever the, the, the Panera bread bowl. Yeah. And, and people are going to tune in. And, and you know, it, it becomes... Yeah, and it, it ends the right, debate right. for all those one-loss teams. You shouldn't have oh, to have a perfect good. season and like UCF and still have to have the strength of schedule just to get a nod. There's too many politics. And you, and you brought up a yeah. good point about Ohio State, man. They're, they're rolling right now. Who wouldn't want to see them in an Elite Eight? Absolutely. Absolutely. And they travel well. <laughs> travel amazing. Also true. All right, uh, what are we getting into now? Pro Bowl. Oh, let's talk about the Pro Bowl. I, I forgot. Him. Dude, how did we miss this last week about our Pro Bowl picks? Because um, it was this week. But I meant we knew it was coming up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. John, we could we could have said who our predictions are. Okay. Um, you would have been wrong. Huh? You would have been wrong. Why? I would have said Zeke. Zeke made it. How could he not make it? I know one person that got snubbed that is very interesting, that he's an interior lineman, D lineman, Chris Jones, Kansas City. Oh, yeah. I think he's at maybe 12, 12 and a half sacks. As an interior lineman, that's that's that's, that's very difficult. That, that's amazing right there. So yeah, because coming off the end is, is a lot easier than coming inside, correct? Yeah, it's, it's a lot more garbage that's, that's going on inside. But like, definitely, I would I would have liked to see him see him make it. But who knows? Like, he can still like get in there because of whatever coaches picks or whatever. Regardless of what, whatever he whatever happened before. You're, you've been to the Pro Bowl a few times. Yeah. Let me ask you this question: As an NFL player, are you guys like excited to go to the Pro Bowl, or do you sometimes look at it like? Uh, I gotta go to the Pro Bowl now, like it's a burden. I mean, honestly, like, um, like I, I made my first, made Pro Bowl my first three seasons, and like just observing the guys who were there, the guys who have been there like five, six, seven plus times, those guys are, I mean, they're excited to, to, to be over there, but then again, they're kind of like, kind of, I wouldn't say like jaded, but kind of like been been here, done that. But you went when it was still fun. Yes. It was see, at the end of the year. Yes. Everybody went. It was in Hawaii. Yeah. I mean, you went when it was good times. Correct. I mean, now, see, they, they, another, they butchered it. That's another thing there. That's another thing there because, like, say if you went, like, your first three or four years and it was in Hawaii and now it's over in Orlando, yeah, it's like, a little, it's just a little bit. What are you going to go to islands like, of adventure? Hawaii is like, like, it's you like. You only go to Disney World <laughs> when you win, baby. Like, like, maybe if you have, like, small kids, like, they can really, like, yeah, but, indulge in yeah, the but Disney. you can do that in Hawaii. In which the, is what you want. Which is no, what you want to do in the wrap-up of football season, right? Disney, right. So, like, if it's the end of the season and, like, you're really trying to, 
like have like kill two birds one stone, a little vacation as well as with um, playing a football game. Um, Hawaii is where it is. So like now, like I, I'm not really sure if like guys are really like into Exc it as much. Excited to go to Wet and Wild. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, let's, let's. Ooh, I hope I make the Pro Bowl so I can go to Gatorland. Animal <laughs> Kingdom. <Yeah>. Bring it on. <laughs> now, um, is, is the money good for a Pro Bowl? Is the bonus good? I mean, I, I know it's good it compared to like you know what we're making here. Yeah, no, but it's I'm a just nice, saying. It's a nice bonus depending on, on how many people you bring out with you and how much money you spend out there. It can end up just, you can just make it a clean wash if you're the losing team. But if you're the winning team, then you get like, you get twice the amount. So like there's some incentive, there's some incentive to play for there. But um, outside of that, it's nice like to go get paid and have fun and a little vacation. But I mean, back in when you were there, right? It was AFC yeah. versus NFC, Yeah, right? what? It was AFC, NFC. Yeah. Yeah. But also... Being a defensive player, you guys were at the complete disadvantage. I mean, those were the dick games where, you know, 98 was the totals on those games. I mean, it was it ridiculous. Was. It because was. Because you couldn't do anything. You couldn't rush the passer. Couldn't really hit anybody. I mean, you I know, mean, it's just like two-hand touch, you know. Like we, now it's a little bit more. Like I mean, when you say we couldn't, as in it was rules that we couldn't do that. Unspoken you guys, rules, you guys right? right? No, I mean, we were pretty much just out there. We like, literally, like, we had like a little unwritten rule. Right. Like, yeah, she was there nobody like, wants to hurt code, anyone. It's a, little, it's a little unwritten code. Like, listen, guys, like, it's in the high. season. You might hit a little bit harder under the two-minute yeah, warning and not, the game's on the line. Correct. Yeah. But we're not trying to get injured going into our off season and right. then anything like that. So, like, we, it's, norm, it's normally like, okay, I can make it look good if you want to make it look good. But every now and then, there's a few players that just go hard, and that's all they know. You know what it's like? It's like Rocky in Rocky Three when he went to uh, Hulk Hogan, the Thunderlips. Uh, you know, right. we'll dance around a little. Yeah. The next thing you know, he's getting thrown out, out of the well. ring. He has to take the gloves off. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's 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 a shame that it's not as taken as seriously as the NBA. Also yeah. Again. Like I well, think I it's right. I don't I don't I mean, like to, Javon. Is there is there practice? Yeah. Um, practice. We, no, go ahead. Practice. Nah. No, there's um, practice. Um, practice like every day leading up into it until the, the day before we have a walkthrough. Like, um, like the, the goal, like the final preparation for the game. But like we have, we have practice every day, and each day we, we practice at different spots. Like we stay at the Ihalani. Well, back when it was in Hawaii, we would like stay there, and they have like a little, like a little half, like half of a football field over there. So we would play, like we would practice over there, and the next day we would practice in the stadium. So we end up going just back and forth, and then pictures and then get ready to go play. So yeah, when and you were now, there, now, now they stay at Adventureland. <laughs> <laughs> when you were there your first three years with the seasoned vets that were there, any any invaluable tips you got from guys that were there and been there and done that when you were young? I mean, I remember being there when um, when Junior Seau was there and he was just- San Diego Charger. Chargers. Come on, man. And, <laughs> Bring it up the ass. And Junior just, Junior just wanted to get out to the, he wanted to get out to his front nine or back nine. He's wanting to get out to the golf course. He's like, all right guys, just going to get some good work in because I'm, I'm due on the golf course in a little bit. Uh, so he did a lot of that. And then I was there with some guys who were who were older. And then I was a young kid. So I was like, I was excited. I was happy to be there playing the Pro Bowl. Yeah. And then we had the, we have the older guys like, okay, Rook, you can, might be my first, second year, but he was like, okay, um, you can take all these reps right here. I'm just going to chill. <laughs> you were like, thanks. I'm like, cool. I, I got you, bro. I got you. Because I'm going to do the same thing when I get older. <laughs> oh, my Madden rating? I'm down. Yeah. yeah. If somebody hit you cheap or something in the Pro Bowl, did you guys like uh, police it like in Platoon where you wrap the soap in the in the towel and everybody just or do you the code do you, red? You come back, yeah. Did you issue the code red on Santiago? <laughs> yeah, I, see, during my, my my three Pro Bowls, I never experienced that, but I I do remember watching like watching the a Pro Bowl game when uh, Sean Taylor laid out maybe was yeah, it the was it the kicker, kicker? or something? Yeah. <laughs> well, who cares about the kicker? I know, right? Listen, but like I said, some does. guys go hard. Like some guys, that's all they know. All they know is how to go hard. Like Sean Taylor, you can't pull the reins on him, man. No, no. He was always 100 percent right. No breaks. Yes. Okay. Oh Jesus. John, what is this? Pete on the street. But what is this? It's uh what do you call this look? But I'm saying what it what is is this a, a game? game, New game. New game. Uh, New game. A new game. What do you call this look? What do you call this look? This is what you came up with. That's the game, yeah. All right, well, uh, we have a new game we're going to play. Let's hope it hits as hard as where you're from. <laughs> it's called. Cobra Kai. <laughs> Kai. <laughs> what do you call this look? What are we on E? <laughs> what is this, the Bravo now? What do you call this look? Yeah, this is what we're really interested in. Did you screen this game? Is it good? Yes. It's is good. it good? Okay. Yeah, good. As a matter of fact, uh, it's going to be multiple choice, so. All right. Yeah. Oh, oh, multiple choice. Yeah, because we, that Alex keeps guessing Canada, and it's not a 
So well, well, all right, well, let's check it out. It's called, where, where, look at this guy. This guy definitely lives in Silver Lake or Williamsburg. <laughs> um, all right, it's called, uh, it it's called like, what, what's it called? Like what, what, what do you call this look? It's called, what do you call this look? We're going to play along. Let's right. do it. Here's the deal, man. You're in a you're in a suit. You got the black shirt, black tie. Uh, you got the hat on. You look like a gentleman. You look like a proper gentleman. Uh, if you had to name this look that you're wearing right now, what would it be? Now, before you answer, guys, I want you to get. This is really what what we're doing. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. Ooh. <laughs> Everybody write your right answers down. Board. Write them down. Write it on your boards. Right. Right. You know what, John? I take that back. I like this game. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Thanks. Look at this guy's pondering. Hmm. Should I get an IP beer? <laughs> uh, look at Pete. Pete's holding it in. All right, I got yeah, it. It's good hair right there. I'm going to go this one. You don't have to. Just put the letter. Oh, all right. Just put the letter. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Ready? Go. What do you got? B. 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 Uh, All right. Roll the tape. All right, Alex, I want you to tell me, what would you call this look? Scum with class. <laughs> Talk about self-deprecation. <laughs> I like this guy. Oh, my I take everything goodness. I back. I said back, uh, sir. He, he, actually, right. he actually looked like, like McGregor's like, chauffeur. <laughs> right? Didn't he, wasn't that what it looked like? I'm with I like that. Oh, bro, that's what... This guy's a gentleman. I like that kid. I like that. Oh, look at this. Guy. If we can just get a good look at this, I mean, guy's got some nice shoes on. He's wearing jeans. He's got a, He's got like a a, a a good blazer on. It looks like warm. cozy and warm. Right? It's warm, right? It's warm. It's is that wool? It is wool. It is wool, right? He's got a wool blazer on. Okay, so uh, guys, what do you think this look is called? He looks like uh, he looks like the dude from Tombstone, the one that uh, why why the one that he shoot that ring, uh, Johnny Ringo. It's Johnny Ringo. Dude, he's playing pocket pool. A little unacceptable. All right. Oh, look at this. Anybody else notice that? Yeah, Unbelievable. I, I like this guy. All right, let's go. I got it. It's not the SATs. Just read right along. Yeah. All right. All right. And turn. C. C A C C. All right, here we go. Hipster. It's Johnny Hipster Ringo. Shake. He thinks he's A. Roll it What is the name of this look? Mm. Laid back degenerate. <laughs> oh! Laid back degenerate. Perfect. Yeah, how do, how do, how how do we I like both. I like both these guys. Wow. It's almost like fresh picking games. Laid back. Oh, relax. Yes. Take it easy. What's the live bet on who wins? Take it easy. Stop the Z. <laughs> Let's just start. I spent. I spent. All right. Next, roll the tape. So guys, we have, uh, you guys are amazingly stylish. You're like a very stylish couple. So I'm going to ask you, uh, again, you guys look, if I didn't know you, I would just, I would want to know you too. Because you guys look, you guys look cool. You, dude, you got great hair. You got the dope ass beard. And dude, you got a nine inch nails button on. Come on, guys. You're killing it. Uh, Trent Reznor all day. So here's the deal. Uh, I'm going to ask you guys what you call this look. Guys, I want you to, add, I want you to, to, guys, I'm going to throw back to you guys. I want to, I want you to guess. What you? What would you call this look? I got this one here. Pete's stuttering. You're stuttering. You're stuttering. Prick you. Plastic. This guy definitely plays double bass. See, dang. That guy's worth like forty million dollars. I bet. He's all cashed up. All right. Everybody got an answer? I got it. What do you guys got? I'm going right. against the grain. Let's turn him around. I'm going classic. I know what I think it is. Classic grunge. No, he looks like. Yeah. That's what he looks like. All right. Roll the tape. All right, my man, I got to ask you, what would you, what do you call this look? I'm 44 years old, um, just old school, f badass skateboarding, f is what it is, goddammit. That's what you call it. Yeah, son! That's Brett's a on the board. I'm on the board, I'm on the oh, board! That's something different, I really think. Who's better than me? I'd pay money to see that guy on a skateboard. This game's great, it's the best game we've ever played. Oh, look at this flip flopping over here. All right, let's do another one, let's do another one. Is this one. the last one? Uh, I think we got one or two more. We got okay, more. One let's or go. Two more. Roll tape. Oh, we gotta figure no, out I'm gonna doing. ask you, you have an amazing style, you look, you look great, you guys are about to see a show, you're here for live music. What would you call this look, guys? What do you think this young lady, what would you call this? Got what you got, Jay Root? All right, turn around. Punk A C C C. Brett, where did you learn how to write? With your feet? <laughs> it's right. bad. It's cursive. <laughs> Roll the tape. Uh, thank you. Shout me. Now I'm going to ask you, what do you call this amazing look you got? Punk pinup. 
Punk pinup. Oh, that is perfect. That one, We're on the board. We are deadlocked. All right. So pop, Jay, wow. pop, pop culture is not my deal. Sorry. This was beer pong. Jay would be trolling. The, the yes. Oddsmaker has zero. Yeah, the odds maker has zero. zero. What, what do you have? Right, you you got two, right? We got two. Two to one. Yes, two. To zero. That? Yeah, I got that. Yeah. All right, so two one. Oh, no, but his seat Technically, it was E, better. none of the above. We'll but, you go know. one more. We'll go one more. Go ahead, roll the tape. You have a lot of style right here. Uh -huh. These guys are going to guess what you would call this look, okay? They're going to have okay. a multiple choice question. I'm going to ask you what you call this look, <laughs> okay. okay? So, guys, guess what this look is called. Okay. The magical call drunk, them in the dog the magical house. Drunk oh, unicorn. Majestic Unicorn. I was... Yes. Hot birthday mess. Wow, Jay was hot off book before mess. it even came. Oh, no, I, I think she's hot. Birthday mess, that is. I got this. <laughs> I know what this is. I can tell she's hammered. All right, turn around. We got two A's, a and B, a B, and a C. Is... Roll oh, yeah. All right, birthday girl, I want to know, what would you call this look? The majestic unicorn. The majestic unicorn. <laughs> not, I should have seen it coming. Can. Not getting Dude, shut out like see. Brett. All right, Jay, no, Jay, Jay not going to happen. Uh, Jay's on the board. We, we have a deadlock here. We have Alex and Brett at two. Let's and go. Jay and Javon at one. You want to roll one more? Let's roll. Yeah. Unless you want to rock, paper, scissors. A playoff. Right, let's, 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 I'll tell you what. How do you want to do it? Let's roll this one. Let's All right, roll, we'll let's roll, roll one more. Roll one more. What do you call this amazing look right here? Oh, my girlfriend wears the pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, where's Where our, our choices? choices? Here we go. He made me wear. Oh. Oh. Wow. Come on. Come on, guys. It's not the SATs, as our executive producer said. You didn't get unicorn. She was wearing a unicorn. Jay with a C. Don't worry about what I got. Uh, Alex with an A. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm breaking the tie Brad right with now. With a B and Javon. She's with gonna a make C. a Christmas tree Jay. pun. Christmas tree pun. All oh. spruced up because it's a spruce. Oh. All oh. spruced oh. up. I love it. I love it. Oh. So at the end of our game. Unbelievable. Oh, Javon, Brett have one. Uh, Javon and Al Jay have one. Alex has two. And Brett has won the game again. Boo her. Great. Wow. Making up for his football picks, huh? Oh, relax with that. <laughs> okay, I like that one. That was a nice one. Nice Speaking one. of Thank football you. picks. Uh, yeah. Playoffs. 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 Speaking of football Are we going to talk about the playoffs? Let's talk about the playoffs. Because this playoff picture is, you know, it's still a little muddled. Well, the AFC. Well, all right. AFC. Let's, we'll get into this. Okay. So, guys, as we head into week 16 of the NFL season, the playoff picture hasn't really cleared itself yet. Uh, there's only five teams that actually clinched a berth. Uh, three of them, obviously, in the NFC, uh, division winners. So that, that's pretty much starting to clear up. But the AFC is still up in the air. Uh, I think the Chiefs and Chargers have, have clinched a berth, but not the AFC. division. Yeah. So what say you, fellas? We'll start with you, Jay. What do you, what do you think this is going? What are your predictions on uh, on? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the division that has my full attention is the North, AFC North. Uh, you know, with the Browns having the possibility of winning this division. Oh, my God. That's I unbelievable love, I love this you stage if they of the that. game. I love you if they do that. Yeah, I mean. And, you know, and, and let's be honest, if they had a field goal kicker, okay. Right, they would already have. They, they should have yeah. three wins right now. At uh, least. All, uh, at least. At least two. I think they're a great team. I, I, I shouldn't say it that way, but you know what I mean. They're yeah. playing great. Much, I like that. Much better than last year's team. I don't think it's going to happen, but yeah. I like that. I uh, think I think it'll make for an interesting. I mean, the the two division leaders right now could they're facing tough games. Absolutely, they're going to lose. You know, more than likely. Absolutely. I mean, ninety probably ninety four percent probability that they both lose. So then they go into the next week with. All right. So let's be specific. So NFC North, you're saying Cleveland. I'm going to go on a wild limb and say Cleveland. Yeah, it's very wild because it's going to change next Wind week. Wind North. All right. AFC. That's what I said, AFC, right? Yeah. Oh, did I? I'm sorry. AFC yeah. North, you got Cleveland. What do you got? Well, I took Ravens last week. I'm going to stick with Ravens. Ravens. I got Pittsburgh winning the North. What do you have? I like the Ravens. The Ravens. Okay. So we got two for the Ravens. All right, let's go. We'll save the West for last. Uh, AFC South. Jay? Uh, it's going to be Houston Texans. Yeah, Texans. 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 Okay, we, we got that one down. Let's not even do the East. We know the Pats are going to win that, right? Unfortunately. All right, unless something happens. AFC West. Is it going to be the San Diego Chargers or the Kansas City? And it does it again. <laughs> I'm already I'm still in recovery. Los Angeles Chargers. It's San Diego. Oh, doing it on purpose. Oh. San Diego. It's like a bad Facebook memory popping up. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. No, I just think it's hilarious because 
The general public's taking the bait. They're all in on the Chargers. They don't know what it was like to be a Charger fan. They lose in sick fashion. They're going to split, and the Chiefs are going to take the West. Okay, but there's not a, a little part of you that wants the Chargers to win being a fan your whole life. I only like Rivers. I only like Gates. I'll find to the rest of the organization. <laughs> oh, oh. oh! On my rate! Oh! We got a... I, I'll go off on a tangent. All right, no, so you don't I, I like the, the Chiefs. So you don't think the San Diego Chargers are going to win? <laughs> He's doing it again. I'm all hot and bothered. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pick the San Diego Chargers just to piss him off. I think the San Diego Chargers are the team to beat in the AFC. Who do you got, Javon? I'm still rolling with the Chiefs. Thank you. But the defense is just, I think it's a thorn in the side, man. But they just they just taking a few games off. They're going to get it together. They're going to regroup, and then they're going to be ready to go for the playoffs. Look, I love Mahomes. <laughs> I love the offense. I think yeah. the defense needs a little work. But I think the Chiefs are, uh, the, the Chargers are on a roll. San Diego's all behind this team 200%. They haven't had one of those kick me in the scrotum losses, and it's going to happen in Denver. Watch it happen. Watch Denver. Rip them right back to the wild card. All right, Jay, so who's your uh, wild card picks for the AFC? Um, my picks are going to be uh, Kansas City Chiefs, obviously, and uh, the Indianapolis Colts. Okay. Alex? I'm going Chargers and Colts. San Diego Chargers and, and, the, and the Indianapolis Colts. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I'm going with KC, obviously, because I think Chargers, the San Diego Chargers are going to win the West. And I'm going with the Colts. I like the Colts. Who you got? I'm good with the Colts but I also like the Chargers of Los Angeles, that is. Oh, stop. My only friend at the end of the table. <laughs> All right, so let's do NFC. Uh, Saints clinch, Rams clinch, Bears clinch already. Um, Cowboys are going to win the East. Are we in agreement, or are you going to say the Redskins again, Jay? What's with you and the Redskins, by the way? They're, they're playing good. I mean, they've been, <laughs> they, they are a solid team. They just have injury issues. And, you know, 10 points this week, I mean, that looks... That's like a T-bone yeah. steak. We're, we're not talking picks yeah. yet, but you, who do you think? Who I know, but I'm just saying. The, who do you think is going to win the NFC East? Um, I'm going to back off the Redskins a little bit. You I think, think? I think the Cowboys are going to struggle. I think Winston could go in there and beat them out, outright. The over-under number of times they pan the camera to Jerry Jones is going to be like 12 during that game. <laughs> do you guys actually yeah. bet that or no? No, no, not, not here. <laughs> do you have prop bets like that? Oh, sure. Not, not in regulated environments. They do that in some <laughs> other regu in other jurisdictions. Okay. It's not so regulated, but... Um, I think it's going to go down to the wire, you know, and I think Eagles uh, got, uh, got a shot to win this week, uh, and it's going to be uh, an interesting uh, 17th week uh, in that. And, but I'm going to pull, the, pull the, the Cowboy card out and say they win. But you do know the Cowboys only have to win one game and they clinch. I, yeah, I get that. Right. Okay. But if they lose to Winston and, and the Bucks this week, it's going to make for right, an interesting uh, week seven. Alex, what do you got? Uh, you think the Cowboys win the East? Unfortunately. Okay. Uh, you know I'm going Cowboys win the East. Of course. Uh, you got Surprising. Javon? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to Cowboys. I mean, the Eagles got a tough task this week with the Texans. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So now we got we got uh, wild cards. Who you got? Mm, it's tough in this division. Um, I, I'm I'm going to say Seattle. Okay. And I think uh, I think Eagles. Alex. I originally had Seattle and Minnesota last week. I'm on Napoleon Dynamite's older brother, baby. Big. Can't say it on TV. Nick. It's taking them. I got the Eagles on the second wild card. So you got Seahawks and Eagles. Seahawks and Eagles. That's what I got. I got Eagles. Um, Seahawks. You still yeah. riding Minnesota? Yeah. No, nah, I jumped. I jumped off that train a couple miles back. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, no. I, I think them starting Nick Foles is. I think he should have started a, a long time ago. Yep. I like Nick Foles. I mean, Maybe. And, and that was a dilemma though. Yeah, you had Carson Wentz and Nick Foles. Who are you going to start? Super Bowl MVP. Uh, you know. Regular season MVP. Regular, yeah, regular season MVP. Um, I think Nick Foles is going to spread him out a little bit. Um, I think they're going to win both their games, but I think Dallas is going to win one game and clinch. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, I think the Eagles are going to oh, yeah. win it. Seahawks, Eagles. I like that for wild card. It's birds. Yeah. Birds wild card. Yeah. Love it. John? Yeah. We winding down? Yeah. All right. What do we got? All right, we got to do our... This week's picks, right? Listen, yeah. guys, we need to come in with the picks and the parlays. Um, we got to. The people are People are sick. We need to help people. Yeah. It's Christmas time. We gotta, it's Christmas. we got to get the stuff, charity. Stuff their stockings. All right, Alex. Lead us in. All right. I, you, Jay you, just alluded uh, to it. 0 for 3 doesn't want to lead in. Uh, Take it get, easy. Get, get some redemption at here. Least, at least I have a title. Here. Like, at least I've like, won something. Like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Like, no in between. So, no, no, no. But I just want to point out, right? What do the Cowboys normally do every year? 8 and 8? So, you, you know, you're right there. You're fat in 500, just like the Cowboys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, are your, what do your Redskins do? Uh, are you even a Redskins fan? No, yes, not a Redskins I, fan. Who does New Mexico like root it. for? 
New Mexico roots for whoever Texas the house team. needs. That's oh okay. No, that's, yes. that's your home team. Yeah, yeah. That's my home team. Seriously, yeah. does who does New Mexico team, roots team for? green like NFL team? Oh yeah, no, we're we're kind of in between a bunch of stuff. It's Cowboys. It's uh, it's Denver. And a couple of Arizona fans here and there, but mostly uh, Denver and Cowboys. Yeah. Well, you know what? You, you live in America. You believe in God. You hate terrorism. You got to root for the Cowboys. <laughs> root for the Cowboys. <laughs> That's a good thing, man. That's a lot to unpack. Yes. America's team. Three, please, have, three, please have his picks. Please. Yeah. All right. All right. It's time for this week's picks. We owe the Javon Curse Foundation a lot more than we've given them thus far. Last week, we went in order of Social Security. This week, we're going to go in order of Swag. So with that being said, Javon, mm. kick Ooh. us off, baby. Let's go. With just, your picks of the week. I'm just glad you didn't put yourself first. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to do that. You nicknamed yourself last week, and I thought you were going to put yourself Big first. Nah, I got B, I got B minus style. Huh? Yes. I got B minus Money style. Monica. Money Monaco over here. I like hey, I backed it. it up a little. I love it, actually. Backed it up. Thank you. I'm going with the Bears and the points. Second pick, I'm going with the... I like the Patriots to cover. The Patriots have lost two games in a row. And then I'm going with my lock is going to be Saints versus Steelers. I like that for my lock. I mean, the Saints offense has been, have been sputtering a lot this past two weeks, mostly because they've been playing outside. So now they're going back inside at it's home. It's a good point, buddy. It's a great point. I think they're definitely going to do what they have to do so they can get that home feel, so they can play inside through the playoffs. So that's my lock with the Saints to, um, with the five and a half. I like it. It's, it's no knock to Brett. He's got great style, but I, I'm going with Peppermint Shirt Jay over here, second with swag. <laughs> Take us in, baby. I like that. Shirt. All right. I'm, I'm going with uh, Skins plus 10. I mean, that's a great pick. Uh, Bills plus 13. And then I'm going a little bit uh, off script here, and my lock is going to be the Indianapolis game under 47 points scored. I am not mad at that. Whoa. And he threw the under in there. And their defense is just, uh, you know, brutal to these teams coming in. Giants, so you're telling me they got to score over you know, three touchdowns. That's not going to happen there. So uh, 47 is the scoring average league-wide. This game is not an average game. This is an under game for sure. Uh, skins? I got to do it just because you're bullying me into it. Nobody's <laughs> bullying you. Plus ten oh, points. Oh no, come you know, on! And and Tennessee is going to play just well enough to get the win and move on. Uh, so ten points is too beefy there. And Patriots plus thirteen against the Bills. Allen playing you know pretty well. Um, they're losing Josh Gordon, and I think it's going to be a bit of a struggle. I might take a little flyer on the money line on that game too. Jay is hard what, what that, like, looking over here. <laughs> Jay's just, Jay's just right. I'm just <laughs> trying to stuff the stockings this week. So what's your lock? Oh. What's your lock? My lock is the under. 100%. Yeah. Gotcha. Skins on, and bills. Okay. It's about the kids. All right, Brett. What you got? Am I last? No, that's oh. true. That's true. Yeah. I am, th I am third in swag. I am third in swag. All right, I'm going with Jay. Washington plus 10. It's just too many points. I'm going Bears minus four. Cardinal sin, three times in a row. And then my lock, give me Nick Foles and the Eagles. Fly, fly. At home over the Texans. <laughs> Big Nick. Nick. Philly minus two. That's your lock? <laughs> Absolutely. Look, Deshaun's been sacked more time than anybody in the league this year. Philly, look, they've been in 11 games decided by seven points or less. They haven't had as bad of a season as we think. I know the Super right. Bowl hangover is real. This is going to be a menacing in the trenches game. Michael Bennett's eating. Chris Long's eating. Everyone's doing the say out sack dance. Fly high, baby. <laughs> oh. oh, I feel 30 right now. Um, dude, I agree. I, I agree with all these. I, everybody, I agree with most of these picks. Actually, all of them. Okay. I just Red, have one Red, that Redskins? no. Except the Redskins. Yeah. Oh, I love Texans in, at, at Philly. I love taking Philly minus the two. I love taking the Bears minus four at San Francisco. I think the Colts minus nine. Uh, it's at Indianapolis against the Giants is a great pick. I know I'm doing, I'm doing a J here. But my luck, I'm not just doing this to break your balls. San Diego Chargers. Oh, my God. Minus four and a half. I'm done. You're in, you're in L.A. slash San Diego. Uh, <laughs> you're playing the Ravens. I think the Chargers are, are, are playing to win. I think they're the best team in the AFC. I think, uh, uh, you know, Baltimore, everything's on the line for Baltimore, but I, I, don't, I don't think they're going to be able to hang. And with this loss is the reason why the Colts end up getting 
is, is the reason why the, 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 the Cleveland Browns could win the North. Mm. <laughs> this is a home game for the Ravens. I'm it's, just letting you know. This is a home game. There's going to be more purple in the crowd than blue. And, no, I disagree. I think the Chargers fans make the pilgrimage. Wait on it. I, I'll take a side bet off camera all day. Give me that four and a half. All right, so to do this clean, we'll yeah. do this clean. So here are my, here are my three picks. I'm taking uh, the Bears at, at San Francisco minus the four. I'm taking Indianapolis minus the nine. It's in Indianapolis against the Giants. And my lock of the week is the San Diego Chargers minus four and a half. It's in, it's in L.A. slash San Diego against the Baltimore Ravens. <laughs> and I think, I think the Ravens' whole season goes to, goes to poop. Mr. Rudy's being game. rude. I, that's all I got to say. Just rude. Yeah, just, John, you want to chime in? I don't, I don't, I don't like the points on the road. But otherwise, yeah. I just want to say we have a special guest from MMA Junkies, uh, gorgeous George Garcia. The original Triple G is in here. Anything yeah, you want to add to this? George. You want to agree with it, disagree? You wow. taking the Niners at home? Say, George is saying Niners at home. Gen gentleman yeah. knows that laying points on the road is a dangerous thing in this town. Okay, guys, this has been another episode of the D Gentleman Show. Uh, once again, I'm Brett Ernst for Jay Rude, Javon Curse, and uh, little little millennial Alex. <laughs> Money Monaco. Money Monaco. This has been our show, guys. Uh, once again, we want to thank the Mandalay Bay, the sports book here, for having us. All the MGM properties. And, uh, and the MMA junkies, man, for the studio. One more time for gorgeous George Garcia. Let's keep it going for there you. you. Go. For the Mama. MMA junkies sitting in, uh, that's our time. So remember, just because you're degenerate doesn't mean you have to stop acting like a gentleman. Make sure you call your moms. God bless.